Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 104. That is, what is velocity in Agile Scrum? Let me answer. So what is print velocity in Agile Scrum methodology following projects? It is nothing but the average amount of work. Okay, velocity is nothing but the average amount of work the agile team has completed in the previous sprints and using that estimate we can estimate how much work the agile team can do in the future sprints let me explain this line a bit okay so you already know the projects where agile scrum methodology is followed the development and testing the work will happen in the form of sprints right so here sprint one sprint two sprint three in agile scrum methodology following projects the work will happen okay in that kind of projects the work will happen in the form of sprints sprint one sprint two sprint three sprint four and so on let's say this is sprint one after sprint one is completed some amount of work will be delivered here okay after the sprint one let's say this amount of uh, software functionality will be ready at the end of the sprint one after that sprint two will start okay this is sprint two sprint two after sprint two some more work will be delivered okay along with the previous work some more work so it will increase the amount of work that will be delivered after the end of the sprint two will be increased okay after sprint two then sprint three will start in agile scrum methodology for projects the work will happen in the form of sprints where the work will be delivered like this okay so more work will be delivered here okay along with the previous work some more work will be added and more work will be delivered then sprint four sprint four and after the sprint four even more work okay along with the previous work more work will be delivered and the process will go on the process will go on so it will the kind of the sprints will continue here each and every sprint is nothing but an iteration okay each and every sprint is nothing but an iteration having some duration so general duration that sprints will have depending on the projects guys okay different projects will have different uh, sprint iteration duration it can be from one to four weeks okay it can be one week or two week or three week or four weeks okay different projects will follow different sprint durations most of the projects will follow two weeks duration okay two weeks two weeks means 10 working days assume that this sprint is taking 10 working days that is two weeks duration of sprint that is 10 working days and here sprint to also 10 working days every 10 days in 10 working days some uh, some uh, some uh, some sort of functionality is being delivered okay and uh, in the next sprint more functionality will be in the third sprint even more functionality will be delivered and so on okay so work will be done in the iteration fashion in agile scrum okay this is a process followed in agile scrum methodology projects agile is an sglc model under agile we have the scrum methodology the projects which are following the agile scrum methodology okay will work in the form of sprints like this okay they will work iteration by iteration so for every sprint or iteration for every sprint or iteration some stories will be assigned okay some user stories will be assigned to the sprint the product owner will assign some user stories to the sprint okay before the sprint starts the product owner will assign some work to the sprint that is in the form of user stories user stories are nothing but this particular square boxes boxes i am representing here are nothing but the user stories which are nothing but the these user stories are nothing but the small chunks of requirements these requirements have to be developed and tested by the agile team by the end of the sprint all these stories need to be completed okay so you see the agile team that is developers and testers have started working the beginning of the sprint on these user stories by the end of the sprint they complete these stories so how many they completed how many they completed and on the top of that guys each and every story will have some story points okay each and every story will have some story points i'm writing sp here in short every story will have some story points story points so if the agile team that is developers and testers have completed all these user stories by the end of the sprint now we can calculate right how many user stories okay how many story points total story points tsp okay this story point plus the story points story points of each and every story we are calculating guys we are adding it here like this plus 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 and finally by the end of the sprint 
the agile team has completed all these stories we can know how many story story points the agile team has completed in the sprint one right so this this calculation this total story points is nothing but velocity okay the amount of work the agile team has completed by the end of the sprint is velocity now again after sprint one sprint two will start in sprint two also again the product owner will assign some other set of user stories for the agile team to finish by the end of the sprint and here also these stories will have the story points so by the end of the sprint two by the end of the sprint two if the agile team has completed all these uh, user stories then then we can get the total story points here also right for the sprint two also we'll get total story points here how do we calculate the velocity here here what we'll do is after sprint two we'll add the total story points one with let's say this is total story points one for sprint one total story point one for sprint two total story point two here how do we calculate the velocity after sprint two here velocity is equal to this tsp one plus tsp total story points completed in sprint two divided by two will do okay we'll get the average of the total story points that will become the velocity in the sprint two what about in sprint three tsp one plus tsp2 plus tsp3 divided by 3 average of the story points that are completed so far in the previous sprints that is what is velocity after sprint 4 tsp1 plus tsp2 plus tsp3 plus tsp4 by 4 is nothing but the average velocity that the agile team can deliver the work in the earlier sprints so here you see now you can understand guys okay with the average amount of work that is, the, that is the total story points, average of the total story points of the previous sprints. The Agile team has completed in the previous sprints. We can estimate, okay, how much work the Agile team can do in the future sprints, okay? So this average amount of work, that is the average user story points, the Agile team has completed in the previous sprints is known as sprint velocity. And using the sprint velocity estimate, we can estimate how much work the Agile team can do in the future sprints. Now, with this uh, average out velocity, we can estimate right in sprint five okay before the sprint five starts before the sprint five starts the uh, we can estimate okay with the help of this velocity average uh, story points uh, estimate we can estimate that how much work the agile team can complete in sprint five okay or sprint six or sprint seven and so on we can estimate that okay with this average velocity points we can estimate the future sprints how much work the agile team can deliver we can estimate so the average estimate rate at which the agile team can deliver a sprint is called sprint velocity in simple words okay what is sprint velocity the average estimate rate that is average estimate uh, story points at which the agile team can deliver a sprint in is called sprint velocity what is the use of sprint velocity why we have to use why we have to calculate the sprint velocity and what is the purpose of uh, calculating the sprint velocity what is its use with the help of the sprint velocity we can predict okay velocity can be used for making prediction guys okay future predictions so what we can predict here we can predict the time that the team will take to complete the remaining work okay so we can predict if there is some pending work in the project how much how many sprints the, the agile team will take to complete that work okay how many more sprints the agile team will take to complete the work we can predict we can predict what features the team can deliver in the upcoming releases okay the future sprints at which sprint level or at which uh, release level how many number of features can be delivered okay we can we can predict that okay that's what is the use of calculating the sprint velocity guys we can use sprint velocity as a as a as a measurement for uh, prediction okay we can predict the future work the team because we know how the team will work how, how much work they can do for every sprint we know with that with that measurement we can predict the future work right how much work the team can deliver in the upcoming sprint we can estimate properly okay and we know how much time will it take to complete the remaining work we'll come to know that's what is sprint velocity guys okay so hope guys you understood what is velocity in agile scrum from this session so that's all for this session the next session i'm going to answer another software testing entry question for you till then see you bye bye